Orthodon Tix is a fabulous career. If I had to choose again, if I woke up tomorrow and had to choose a career again, it would always be orthodontics every time. I think orthodontics has a huge amount of job satisfaction. Um, not only is it essentially practical, which is why a lot of people go into dentistry and orthodontics in the first place, but it's very varied. No day is the same. For me, orthodontics is the most rewarding area of dentistry. We're dealing generally with young children, growing children, many of whom are desperately unhappy with their dental and facial appearance. By intervening with the right approach at the right age, we can transform lives. To become an orthodontist, of course, you have to train as a dentist first. And my belief is that the best orthodontists are the people who became the best dentist first. So I'd focus on being a great dentist first, qualify that, and then look at your career in orthodontics. The training for undergraduate dentists, it's a five-year programme and you cover all aspects of dentistry, uh, including uh, children's dentistry, restorative dentistry, uh, prosthodontics, learning to make dentures and crowns and bridges, uh, learning to do uh, root treatment, even learning to take teeth out. So you have to cover the whole range of clinical care. The training is a three-year registrar training which leads to a membership in orthodontics from one of the Royal Colleges of Surgeons. It, it is quite hard work for our trainees because unlike medicine, they, they do an MSc in parallel to their clinical training. So they're quite busy for the three years, but it then means at the end of it, they don't have to take a year out to do a separate MSc. Most of my day-to-day -day job involves treating patients, both adults and kids, on the NHS and privately, so it's tremendously rewarding and very varied work. When I'm at the dental hospital, um, I tend to treat patients, and they tend to be more complex patients who are requiring things such as surgery and impacted teeth. And I also undertake a lot of training. We have students who come to the university to learn to become orthodontists, and I, I'm heavily involved in the training programme. I bought the practice I've been working with my colleague last year so um, yeah finally took over a, a very small business basically. At the moment where I've been training to be an orthodontist my time is split between treating patients and learning on the job and then also um, the other half of my time is spent in um, lectures and in the lab learning about wires and all our appliances, learning how to make them. It's um, a fun job, but you need to get a really good range of experience. You need to be a good team player. You need to also get involved in things like audits, publications, and just generally um, make yourself stand out. To do orthodontics, you've just got to be focused. I think it helps if you're slightly obsessional. You like straight lines, that certainly works for me. Um, but just having attention to detail, um, it's a really satisfying career. If you're at school, I would certainly arrange some work experience. Most district general hospitals will offer at least a week where you can go and observe and make sure it is really what you'd like to do. I guess the most important thing is to try and divide your career up into stages, because if you decide at the age of 18 or 21 that you want to be an orthodontist, it's fairly intimidating to be looking at 10 or 15 years worth of training. So just take one step at a time. If you want to do it, be enthusiastic, work hard from the start because you will need to, ideally at a maximum, I'd probably do a mix of practice and hospital. I don't think I'd ever stick to one entirely. 